Airports are the OG tourist trap. They're overpriced and they gouge you for every penny. And I know how to beat the system. By the end of this video, you'll know how you can dine for free all across the country during your next layover. In fact, this program has saved me over $300 in overpriced bottled water, peanuts, pretzels, and iceberg salads that don't even come close to filling me up. What's up guys, this is the Millennial's Guide to Money. My name is Brad, and here I teach you how to dominate your finances to own your life. Let's dive in. I don't wanna lead you on. The answer is this. It's called Priority Pass, and it's a membership program that gives me access to 1,200 plus lounges around the world and a lot of discounts on retail and restaurants included. Now, how in the world could this be free? And the answer is, it's not really free, but I make it free. This card comes with my Chase Sapphire Reserve card. And now that Chase Sapphire Reserve card is amazing if you travel. You get uh, all, extra points for travel, three times the points. You get a free TSA pre-check and free global entry. So look, if you travel, it's an amazing card, but you also pay $450 a year. But Brad, that's not free at all. You're paying 450 bucks a year. All that should be included. Yes, however, it, it includes a $300 travel credit. So Ubers, gas, flights, all that stuff, that's gone in the first couple months, period, even if you just Uber a few times. So the card's really 150 a month, or not, 150 a year. Plus, when you have three times the points on travel, and then when you use it to buy tickets, you get even more points, it actually pays itself off quite quickly if you pay the card off. So every time I go to the airport, I know that this priority pass is partially being paid by me, and it's up to me to get the value out of it. So I've saved over $300 throughout the year just eating at different restaurants, plus the travel credit, plus three times the points, plus TSA, plus all this stuff, and it has turned out to be free for me. The question is, would it be worth it for you? If you have the credit to get the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card, I think it's well worth it, because it's really just 150 a year, and Based on all the perks, it's worth it because I travel, the points add up, and I pay it off. If you don't pay it off, then, well, you're not gonna get the value from it. Plus, I think it was about 100,000 points when I joined bonus, which is $1,000 or $1,500 towards travel. So that's paid off several years of the card right there. Now, the priority pass ranges from 70 to $350, and I think to get free access and 100% uh, discounts at the restaurants, you have to pay at least 200 a year. To me, that would not be worth it if it was not already included. For you, maybe it is, but I would rather make a smoothie at home, bring some snacks, uh, or occasionally just pay at a restaurant for filling healthy food than to get the membership and feel like I have to do it because it's only certain restaurants that give you free food. It's only certain lounges that give you free access. So it's, to me, it's not worth getting the membership unless you are just a businessman or woman, you're traveling nonstop, you live in airports, then okay, that's different. But it's on this card. If you have the credit, definitely look it up. Chase Sapphire Reserve. This is one of the biggest perks. And this is why I don't pay 18 bucks for iceberg salads, iceberg lettuce salads that don't fill me up. I don't pay like $9 for an apple on the side or $6 for a black coffee. Coffee. I hope you don't either. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to the Millennials Guide to Money. See the links below for more information on Priority Pass and the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. Subscribe and see you in the next video.